here it is. <laughs> My god, this is hideous. <laughs> I recently made a movie for a friend's father's 70th birthday. While planning the movie out, my friend and his siblings told me about this playground they'd used to go to with their father as kids. They called it Hamifletzet, the monster, and told me that we somehow had to incorporate it in the video. And I was like, yeah sure, just send me a photo so I see what it's all about. And this is the photo they sent me. Look at this hideous thing! What the hell is this? When you imagine a kid's playground, something a bit more playful comes to mind, but who in their right mind would build this for children? But what really caught my attention was the second picture they sent me. There's a grotesque contrast between the hideousness of the slide and how happy the kid is that made me think there's more to this slide than meets the eye. So I set out to find what it's all about. Today is the 9th of July and I'm heading now to Jerusalem. On the western side of the city there is a garden called Rabinovich Garden. That's where that ugly slide is. Now, I'm going there now, but this story actually starts a few days ago. Before going to see the slide, I wanted to learn more about it. I knew this picture was taken somewhere around 1984, so the slide had to be at least 35 years old. I learned it was created by a French-American sculptor called Niki de saint Fall, and was commissioned to her by Jerusalem's mayor at that time, a guy called Teddy Kolek. But that information only raised even more questions. Why a thing so grotesque would be commissioned by a mayor? And for the pleasure of children? Or, in short, what the hell is this? The Hebrew Wikipedia page of the garden itself offers one explanation. According to Saint Fall, the slide represents feministic ideas. The artist wants to shatter the impression of the fragile woman in the Western world. That, to me, just doesn't sound right. Saint Fall did create sculptures that are feministic in nature. These were life-size dolls of women she called nanas. They became her best-known work. But not only does the slide not look anything like a nana, or a woman for that matter, but I also don't see anything empowering or feministic about portraying women as monsters and letting kids have fun on that notion. Also, I couldn't find any other reference supporting that explanation. It was something else. I just knew it. So, due to lack of information, I tried contacting the municipality of Jerusalem. Sponsorship Department of Jerusalem Municipality, hello. How may I be of service? Um, my name is Omri Goldman, I'm a video creator, and I'm looking for some more information about Hamifletzet, that, that monstrous slide you have in Jerusalem. Well, according to Sam Fall, the golem represents feministic ideas. The artist wants to shatter the impression of the fragile woman in the Western world. Uh, are you... Thank you. Were you just citing from Wikipedia to me? No. Yes. After encountering some loose ends on that side, I tried contacting the foundation Nikki de Saint Fall herself formed before she passed away in 2002. Out of those two responses, I honestly can't tell which was the least helpful. I just knew there was something about this slide, but I couldn't quite pinpoint on what it was. But then I stumbled upon an article on the LA Times from 1998. Okay, I made it to Rabinovich Garden. And uh, here it is. <laughs> My god, this is hideous. <laughs> This slide was created in 1972 and received the name The Golem. But why did the mayor commission an odd piece like that? Well, apparently Teddy Kolek, the mayor, 
was a huge admirer of art. His assistants once described him as someone who was open to various disciplines and creative genres of art. And Saint Fal, with her extravagant sculptures, was the obvious, out of the norm choice for him. To present her design for the slide, Saint Fal had to go in front of a commission at the municipality. And for obvious reasons, they turned her down. But Kolik insisted the commission do another voting. And he then came up to Saint Fal and told her, defend your idea. So she did. And on the second voting, the commission agreed. Amazingly enough, the Golem quickly became one of Jerusalem's most beloved attractions. But one question still remains unanswered. Why so hideous? On an interview Saint Fal did for the LA Times in 1998, she replied, Scary things are good, because they help children conquer their fears. This slide is a story of being open to what's different, and of perseverance. But its culmination is actually told through this photo of a kid experiencing the thrill of surmounting fear in its purest, most childish form. I'll see you next week. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Hope you found value and enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. There's a new video coming out every week. You can click the top video on the left to watch another fun encounter I had with that not so useful representative. I think she's starting to become a regular on this channel. And talk to me in the comments, let me know your thoughts, I'm there. See you next week, Omri. The 30 year old adult. <laughs> what a douchebag.